time for Golf Channel Academy Coaches Series. I want to welcome in Todd Soans, Golf Channel Academy lead coach, teaching close to Chicago at White Deer Run Golf Club. Todd, thanks, Travis. Welcome back, one of the top 50 instructors in the country. And we're going to talk about short game. You're an excellent short game teacher, and all kinds of different shots we're going to see at the Open Championship. But there's one common denominator for all of them. There is, you know, at our short game school, which is really our the biggest program we, we run at White Deer, um, the thing that we always try to get people to understand, because what are the worst shots you can hit? Fat and thin, mm -hmm. right? Skull one, hit it fat, it feels awful. Well, the common denominator in all good short game shots, I like to say the club has to descend through impact. Now, here's what that actually means. Okay. So how I get people to visualize this is, imagine three horses in a race. You know, your club head is your outside horse running the outside of a track. Your hands are your middle horse, okay. right, running in the middle of a track, and then your belt buckle. Well, bottom line is, if I start correctly, which would be that my club head, hands, and belt all line up, all right, the common denominator, whether I'm hitting high or low, or a bump and run with a hybrid, or even a putt, is at impact, I need to make sure all three horses come back to a tie, okay. right? So what happens so often when people hit a thin or fat shot is they get their legs, you know, the inside horse out racing the outside horse. So, you know, this is legs where, you know, I, I skip the club into the ball. So the inner horse is going right. too the, quick. The, the yeah. lower body takes off and the outside horse gets caught behind. He can't, can't catch, up. catch up. Sometimes people flip it. You know, they're like, oh, I can't get wristy. Why do they get wristy? Well, this takes off and then the hands try to catch it, mm. right? So I always tell people, look it. The outside horse is moving the farthest. He has to travel the fastest. Okay. So you've got to start your backswing with the outside horse, and you've got to start your transition with the outside horse. So the club head needs to make sure he catches up so that impact one, two, three, match up. And it doesn't matter high, low, putt. It doesn't matter. So that's a bump and run. So if you went high, lob, how would that work and all of them match well, up? Basically, I'll, it's all about the setup. So if I want to hit a high lob, I'll take the shaft. I like to call it a high slider okay. because I'm sliding the club under the ball. So I'll take the shaft and go straight. I'll stand to it so the ball's a little up in my stance. I'll swing this back with my arms, and then again, i got to deliver the club head. If I want to hit a low shot, I'll put the shaft forward. I actually call this a low trap because I'm trapping the ball against the ground, right? So the shaft's in front. So as I swing back, I'm going to pivot more, high when I swing more, low when I pivot more, right? And then again, I got to lead with a club head. I got to catch up. I like that. So on the lob with the swinging action, right? More of a swing. You've got to get that club head to swing back and swing down. Back and, down and the low shot is pivot okay. and still accelerate the club. And then, you know, if we hit a hybrid, let's okay. hit a hybrid, Yep. right? So this shot you'll see a lot at Royal Burkdale. Same setup, I'll put the, sh the ball a little back in my stance, put the shaft forward. I make more or less a putting stroke. There's enough loft in that golf club, but again, at impact, club head, hands, belt, line up, right? Putt, how about a putt? So a tight lie, Todd, you would recommend around the greens, got some green to work with. Yeah, that's great. Option. The hybrid, you know, you're seeing Sergio do that more and more. Mm -hmm. The Masters, he did it. And so tight lie, it's really good because the club won't bounce, so it really slides in the sole. It's a great shot to practice on a tight lie. Excellent. Let's see the putter now. All right, same thing. So. Again, an address, you know, I don't want to have the horses out of alignment, right? Club head, hands, belt, all in alignment. Ball's a little forward in my stance. So I got to make sure I let the club head accelerate. Some people say release the putter. I just say, just let the putter go. If you drag it, the horse is dragging behind the wagon, you're in trouble. It's a great, that's a great visual right there as far as the horse race and really wanting that dead heat, right? At that impact. impact of all three of those lining up. Right. Important in the full swing, but probably even more so in the short game if you want to have a variety of different types of shots. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's all about the touch. It's all about getting the club head back. People get tension in their hands, right? They get too tight in their hands in the short game, and all of a sudden that club lags behind, and they're in trouble, right? right? And I, big trouble when that well, happens. You and I have done golf schools over the years, and I know you're one of the best. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just kind of give you a little bit of credit here. Oh, I appreciate that. The, his schools, one of the only schools, top 50, top 100, ranked Golf Magazine number one in the Midwest, and then just right. recently Golf Digest there in the top editor's 10 choice, right? in the editor's choice. So yeah. Todd and their staff, they know what they're doing. Thanks, Todd. And Todd Soans, Impact Golf. It's at White Deer Run Golf Club in Vernon Hills, Illinois. Also, we have coaches around the country on GolfChannelAcademy.com and new tips with Todd each day this week on the Golf Channel Academy Facebook and Twitter pages.